uh hi hemo this is fazil yeah, uh, when it comes to uh, public cloud you said there is a limitation for the network segmentation yes, so could yes you please uh, could you please explain a bit more about that because you said uh, there is only one interface management interface okay so, so what i can do perform. i what i can do fazil maybe that part i will cover when we, when i will discuss the deployment part of it okay okay fine got yeah. it thank you yeah because you know when I, when I will show you the deployment of this panorama and all, that time I will tell you what are the limitations you have in AWS. So I will majorly focus on AWS and GCP. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. Cool. Cool. Any other questions, guys? Uh, hey, Musa, uh, go here. I just yeah, have a couple. I I just have a couple of questions. You said yeah. that we'll be using same pan OS on uh, panorama as well, right? Uh, it's the same pan os on the palo alto as well so is it the same version used for both these models or if it is different how do we differentiate between them means i'm not getting you like i have a pano panorama no you said pan os is the os version used on panorama right okay see the operating system is known as pan os for palo alto and for panorama this is the just name of the operating system okay like we have a windows we have Windows 10, right? Just the operating system. But like Palo Alto operating, Palo Alto OS has a different set of configuration, different coding. And whenever you have to download, you have to download the totally separate image. Okay. Okay. But they have a same thing. They have a BSD Linux on top of that. They have just added the pan application. That's it. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> cool. Hey, Hemu. Can hey. you go back? <clears throat> Can you please go back to the to the previous slides, the one which has uh, multiple interfaces? This yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, uh, the question is, uh, why would branch would have too many firewalls, and why would this data centers also have too many firewalls? Okay, it's not about the one data center actually. These are the data centers means. Maybe you have a five location, ah, which are the DCs, right? Nice. Nice. Every every location you have some firewall. Okay, if I will put all the DC like DC one, DC two, so it's bit become a bit complex here, right? So that's why here you have a multiple branches. So that's why I have put like that. In branch, okay. generally you have a two firewalls in active passive mode in most of the time. So let's suppose here you have a fifty branches, a so total of hundred firewalls. Okay, maybe here you are having 850 series, but in DCs, maybe you are having 50 to 20 series, high end boxes. Okay. Okay, cool. And the lock <clears throat> collection, <throat> the, yep, lock, the lock collections which you have right now, mm -hmm. right? Um, the question is uh, these are the live queries that, that basically go back to the panorama? So generally, these are the lock collectors. Uh -huh. So whatever live logs is generated by these firewalls, they will send these logs to these log collectors and they will store these logs. Okay. And whenever you will need to do the reporting query and all from Panorama, so you have to, they, that time Panorama will communicate with these log collectors and give you the details, give you the reports and everything. Okay. Where, where does the Splunk come into picture here? Splunk is just the external servers means, let me just tell you the X, Splunk one here. I have one image for that. Splunks come in this one. Here you can see, mm -hmm. I have a firewalls. I have the dedicated log collectors, right? Mm -hmm. And I have a, some external servers. So Splunk come here. Okay. Okay. We will forward these logs directly from these firewalls to these Splunks. Thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> and hey, also, Hemo. one more thing, let me just complete. We can also yeah. forward these logs from these log collectors to your Splunk, these external servers. Okay. So we have a both options. Okay. Right. That, that, that is what I was asking. Cool. Okay. So we can forward from log collectors to there. Yeah, yeah. All right. because see, uh, I have just put this slide because you know, when I will discuss the dedicated log, there is a dedicated separate sessions I am going to take for log collection. There's so many things I want to explain on that day. So don't worry. Okay. 
Yeah, Hemu, can you go to the previous uh, slide, uh, your diagram, the lock collectors branch and data center, please? Uh, not this one, the diagram you draw. I'm going here, yeah. yeah Perfect, yeah. Right, so in this case, uh, we have dedicated lock collectors and we have the central panorama to manage the devices and lock collectors. Yep. So here, the actual logs would not be sent to panorama from the lock collectors, right? No, no, no. We have we have used we are using this log collector just to offload the log of this Correct. offload this yep. logging functionality from this panorama, right? To offload right. the load so if, from here. <clears throat> that's right. But uh, but if I I I want to have the view of my logs, I will see it in panorama. But that time panorama is just uh, making a logic to connect to the log collector, and it is yes, showing yes, me the will, picture. Yeah, it will it will do the query here. It will do the query to log collectors and you can, it will give you the reports here. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, one side question yep. regarding the pan OS. Do mm -hmm. we need, do we have to have the same uh, software version or same pan OS version on Panorama and firewalls? So let me tell you, let's suppose we have a Panorama, which is running right now. 10.2.3 okay mm -hmm. and let's suppose we have some firewall Palo Alto firewall some firewall they are running version 10.0.0 let's suppose some are running 10.1.1 some are running 10.2.0 some are running 10.2.3 and some are running 11. in that case mm -hmm. this panorama can able to manage the firewalls who is running the same version either the lesser one okay same or the lesser one but it cannot able to manage the parallel to five which is running 11.0.0 but here we have a one trick as well let's suppose i am running here <laughs> panorama panorama i am running bed what i can mention i can mention here 10.1.7 or 1.8 okay mm -hmm. or let's suppose i am running panorama with 10.1.5 and Palo Alto, I'm running with 10.1.7 or I'm running till 10.1.6 and I am having some Palo Alto which are running 10.1.8. In that case, I can able to manage these two firewalls as well, but this one I will not. So I can able to manage higher than two versions. Okay. Higher than two versions. Okay. All right. I will, I will discuss these things in details. Okay. Don't worry. Yep. Thank you. Uh, uh, so, uh, this is Hashim. Yeah, Hashim, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so I want to just little clarity about this diagram. Uh, in this diagram, we have dedicated log collector as well as firewalls, and we are managing through Panorama. Mm -hmm. So, when, if I want to see the logs for particular firewall, so always we need to log in in the Panorama to send the query for to, towards log collect collector, right? Yes, if you want a log overview into the Panorama, then we have to do the query. Otherwise, okay. if you want to see the live logs, see, let, just tell me one thing. If we will forward all the logs to Panorama, yeah. what is the main purpose of getting all the logs in Panorama? For Get the network activity. visibility? Yeah, network visibility. You know, for the oh. troubleshooting, for example, if Terrible you want to see the... Man, man, yeah. come on, man. For troubleshooting, we will see the live logs from Firewall, right? Because, you know, yes. there is some delay always. There is some delay when you will not get the live logs right away into the panorama. There is always yes. a, some delay, right? Yes. So if you want to do the troubleshooting, you have to look for that firewall. But this mm -hmm. here we are sending the logs just for getting the network visibility, creating the reports and other tasks. Okay, that's the main purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and here we are storing, theory. sorry? So always we need to send the query from the panorama only. No yes. need to log, log, no need to log in into log collector to check the no, we, we 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 will just get here CLI access. So we will not get masking. Yes. Live logs we can verify here on the firewalls. That's I how we will do the troubleshooting, no? Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 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 Hebo, on the same note, uh, you mean from the panorama, whenever there is a query, I mean. Uh, it's like on demand 
to get the yeah. information yep. from the law collector, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay. And also you said there is a uh, three modes, right? Legacy, panorama, management only in logger. So if I'm going uh, le from legacy to panorama, I'm able to convert to management only. And from management, I can go back to the panorama, right? Yes, and yes, right. from management, I cannot go back to, uh, I cannot uh, uh, go to the logger, right? Yeah, we if have I'm... a four modes here. From here, okay. we can. From logger, I can go back to panorama. Yes, from here, we can able to. Go. So, panorama and management only, uh, it's inter interchangeable. Yes, yes, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Thank you. So, in this, uh, in this diagram, the uh the the one which is shown as in panorama if the mode is in panorama mode or the management only mode this generally be managed. Will, yeah it should be man i am i've just run the name this is the name of your device panorama <laughs> okay it is generally we will run in a management mode management only okay and low collectors are in uh low collection right uh, the yes. mode will be on even though if we are running this on a panorama mode see we are not sending the logs they, they are just sending the logs here right if they will not forward any logs to panorama then we can run in panorama as well right it will not impact yeah. it, right <clears throat> oh, okay uh -huh. yeah. because until we will instruct this panorama we have to create the log collection group so many things we have to do okay when we will do this configuration when i will create this configuration that time it will make more sense okay right now just just a network segmentation how you will do that just keep it short here till that. Okay, Mo, I have one question. If you are running the panorama in the management mode, uh, like you said before, it cannot able to get these uh, threads, all the logs from the log collector. Is it so or? So let's suppose you are running this, this panorama in a management mode only. And if your firewall is trying to send some traffic logs, what it will do, it will drop all these logs. Okay. So is it the yeah. same case for the log collector as well? No, log collectors. No, we are, running we are this fetching log from Panorama, right? On that case, I must be. No, why we will fetch the logs from Panorama? These log, these firewall, they are forwarding these logs to these log collectors. Okay. So let me just put this thing so you will get some idea. One minute. These firewall, they are forwarding the logs here. Yes, understood. Okay. They are not forwarding to Panorama now. They no, will uh, forward to log collectors only. Okay. So from Panorama, we are querying, right? Uh, yes. yes we, are just, we are just doing the query for reports. If you want to see the threads, if you want to see the top applications, right? That thing we used to do. Got it? Any other questions, guys? Anyone have? Uh, sir, one question for me, my Shubhash is here. Yeah, please go ahead. So actually, you when you started to explain uh, Ethernet three one two, that time I just missed that uh, points. So could you again please uh, repeat that? Ethernet three and what? Ethernet two, right? Ethernet three uh, three two one. Okay, so this Ethernet one interface. <laughs> If you remember from this panorama, we can able to manage the software updates and content updates, right? Of your firewalls, or and we can also do the license management. So for this purpose, we will use this Ethernet one interface, dedicated interface, who is doing your device deployment. All the software, software management, software updates management, your content update man management, and license management comes under the deployment. Let me just show you here this task I'm talking about. If I'll go into my panorama, I have a device deployment, right? From here, I can push these softwares to my firewall. Right now, I think I have not downloaded any, but I can basically forward any, any kind of logs, any kind of operating system to my firewall. I can send these, these particular dynamic con these dynamic updates as well. Like I have this one, right? I can send to my firewall like this. Okay. 
that's a different that there is a, some issue maybe going on that's why but if you have proper connectivity see i can push these things this is the job of your first interface okay this one ethan one by one now if you want to push any kind of security policies or your routing changes into data center firewall then we will have a dedicated ethernet one by three interface for data centers ethernet one by two interface dedicated for your branch of its firewall it will do the device config management and we have a dedicated ethernet five and four interface for the log queries and all okay you got the points now right yes sir. Uh, i got but one question uh, means uh, 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 ethernet 3 and 2 uh, we can uh, send you know, both template and group policy device group also yes 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 right right uh, and another question uh, such as uh, we, we will going to con configure all this 5 3 and 1 2 4 everything so, mm -hmm. all all interface uh, are uh, work a different uh, subnet or same subnet or same ip what uh, we have to configure the dedicated IP address here because these are the layer three interfaces. Okay. Means we need a separate segments, separate subnets for all these interfaces, separate IP address. Okay. Uh, separate IP address, but the same subnet. Not, not the same subnet, man. These are the layer three interfaces, right? In your router, let's suppose you have a router. Uh, you have f0 by 0 interface and you have f0 by 1 interface and let's say here you have a ip address 10.1.1.100 slash 24 then here you need a separate subnet right maybe 10.2.100 slash 24. you cannot able to configure here 10.1.1.101 are you able to configure this interface here this ip address on f0 by 1 interface no right because they should be in separate layer 3 domain okay yes i got it thank you yep okay. guys whoever wants to drop from the meeting they can drop who don't have any questions who is having the questions guys just ask yeah, but, uh, uh, for example if we, uh, we don't have the log collectors now we are using the panorama as a in panorama view means uh, uh panorama. Log logs also only panorama as well yes yes right and we are using only one interface for everything Mm -hmm. Means of deployment, uh, device deployment, and policy configuration. So, what kind of issues and challenges we may face? Bandwidth, <coughs> bandwidth, kind of issue. Let's suppose they are sending lots of logs. Yes. Correct. To your firewalls, right? And you are also trying to push some configuration. Yes, correct. Then what will happen? There, your config push will got delayed right or maybe you are sending some software updates it also got delayed maybe you will see some high utilization and all so such kind of issues you will face yeah correct sir. and that is why we are facing this issue actually whenever we are trying to deploy any dynamic update is getting failed <laughs> see <laughs> let me tell you one thing <laughs> thanks a lot one, you told me. one of yeah. my customers they are using this interface for everything for everything okay. Uh, okay. now what they have enabled the core text data like logs and so many things they have enabled now they have faced lots of logs lots of problem lots of challenge on this particular interface because you know this cortex data they have enabled on the firewall management interface from that interface they are getting the data in gbs every day mm -hmm. so, so that's why proper network segmentation we have to achieve okay, okay. Uh, another uh, question for the licensing actually you given one uh, option we can get the license uh, to uh, firewall and one for total 10k right one minute one minute one minute